everyone, and welcome to the Meyer Studio Sketch Club. Uh, my name is Cindy. This is my husband, Jason, and this is our wonderful daughter, Izzy. <laughs> We're switching it up a little bit tonight. Are you trying to squeeze her? <laughs> squeeze her head. Squeeze her head. <laughs> So thanks for joining us. Uh, tonight we're going to be working on an image that's going to be referenced in our upcoming online class, which is going to start tomorrow. And it's a beautiful moonscape that Jason was able to capture at Avila Beach um, at la one of our last full moons. So we're looking forward to seeing your sketches. Feel free to put your sketches in the comments when we're done tonight um, and share with us. We love seeing your work. And then in the meantime, any other things right now? We'll have some announcements as we go, but I just wanted to let you know. And the course is in the chat. Thank you, Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome, Shakti and Ellie. So I think Ellie was working on this earlier, so it'd be good to, for you to see this. Miss Susan, good to see you. So for everybody here who has it, in the next couple of months, things are gonna be changing up. We've been hard at work, working on our courses and stuff. So we will be keeping Sunday evenings for a little while for our sketch, uh, sketch club on Facebook. But then um, Tuesdays, and then beginning next week, Tuesdays and Wednesday, Wednesdays are gonna go to a little bit more of a, of a teaching thing schedule so we're going to start that here on facebook so you're welcome to check in but it might, might sound a, a a little bit more official or to the point mm -hmm. um, and that very soon will be going inside the school so um, in the next few months we will be go taking um, sketch club and masterworks and demonstrations inside the school and then beginning in august we're gonna have a brand new format and uh, we'll be talking about that, but we're gonna go from a one month format to a three month format. And then next year, we're gonna go to only two classes a year, but there'll be extended classes somewhere between three and a half and four and a half months. We'll do one in the spring and one summer fallish. So we got all that to look forward to. So if you've been hanging out the last year over the pandemic, make sure you check in at the school and uh, keep following us. All right, so tonight, for a little bit of fun, we are going to, or I'm going to be uh, sketching live right here with you. As you can see, I, I started this sometime uh, this last week, mm -hmm. studying for um, upcoming months and stuff, our reference images. And so this is a study that I'm gonna to continue to develop because I've had a few people um, working on this and seeing how it's going. And so uh, i like to show them and you guys how we keep going. How do you take it beyond this initial step and what it's all about? So for anybody just starting tonight, I give you a free few little pointers. This is a moonscape, a little high in the sky. Let's see, I think we're a little zoomed in there. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oof, no wonder I was feeling crowded. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we've got a moonscape. So we need plenty of sky. So we want our horizon line low, right? And we've got the space between the moon and the water. We've got the water to the land, and we've got the land. And we want to do our best not to get those the same size. Then if we look at our lights on the land over here, those lights, when you look at the reference image, actually come all the way across here. But that's not going to be a very effective design, right? Because if you're going this way, you're not gonna know where to go. And that's not good if people don't know where to go. Yep. Okay, so I hope you got your gear and why don't we get rolling? So, wait. Hi, Mom. Hey, Miss Furman's here. <laughs> Hello, Miss Furman, how are you? <laughs> I don't think I've heard you call her that in forever. Miss Furman makes the best cookies, mm-mm. Yes, if you've not had my mom's cookies, you guys are missing out. All right, let's sketch. Let's sketch. All 
All right, so here we go. So what I'm gonna work on tonight is developing this foreground, separating it from the ocean and separating it from the background. That will be my main thing. And there's a time limit on this thing. See, in my world, there's no time limits ever. Huh. <laughs> Love you, sweetie. The peanut gallery is active. <laughs> Love you, mean it. All right, here we go. Mom said, well, thank you. Well, thank you. Serious, now I'm hungry for cookies. Yeah, this, do you want the photo in there? Yep. Let's see. There we go. This moonscape was awesome. We took a drive and went out to Avila Beach and uh, the moon was just gorgeous over the water. And this actually was where we were starting to come home out by the port. And we pulled over real quick and it just was like perfect. And look what he captured. So what's great is now we get to see it in a sketch. We're going to get to see it in a painting. Maybe. Shh, quiet. Sorry. I spilled the beans. I love moonscapes. I love your moonscapes. I love your moonscapes. <laughs> what? Hi. Nothing? No flirting. <laughs> Live. I thought you wanted siblings. Oh, hey. What? what? <laughs> Pardon? How does that work? I thought what? you went to the you class this year. Class. Oh, ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. It's not that kind of show. Let's bring her back. Let's bring her back. So I'll keep my darks darker here. <clears throat> and then relate that to these other two. So, <clears throat> excuse me, what I'm doing is setting up more or darker so I can have less dark as I go down. Hmm. You can really feel the distance in it already. And the same with size here as we let some of these be a, a bit larger. And then as we go back down, we're going to be a bit smaller. <clears throat> I love how just those marks turn into like bushes. There's got to be a place for bunny rabbits to live. <laughs> This is up on the cliff, sweetie. They got plenty of room. We're gonna let them to drop. <laughs> like this? Yeah. Then who's gonna take all their nice furniture? <laughs> who's gonna eat the carrots? Yes. Eat the carrots, eat the carrots. Refresh the page, maybe, Mom. She can't hear that. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> All right. I'll send her a message. Oh, my God. That's classic. <laughs> oh, the blind leading the blind. That's great. Okay, so you're gonna see from the moon here. We've got this going down. I'm letting negative shapes. I'm having the foliage. Again, turn you around. I'm not gonna send you straight off the page, but you're gonna to start to see movements back this way. Right, as we get here, we're gonna stop and send you back down the beach. A little white, 
It's going to help us get there. And you know we're going to go this way. Why? Because we're always going to go towards that light. And that light walks off. And it's going to toss us right up there. Okay? <laughs> so that's, that's the idea. And so rather than copying anything, once I have the idea, I just make the marks I need to make that idea happen. Like Cartman says, I do what I want. <laughs> it's very clever. It does, it takes your eye around like very smoothly. Smoothly? Yeah, that's a word. <laughs> Sounded weird. I've always been smooth. <laughs> always. <laughs> always. Your voice is getting lower. Always. <laughs> smooth and velvety. It's a radio voice. For me, it's just my everyday voice. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, how'd you get the job to sit in judgment back there? Or you want mm -hmm. back here? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't shoot. We switched it up. It really has a nice flow. It's so tricky how you can do that with the light and the flow to take your eye through everything. Even with the bushes and the like foliage up in the front you can definitely tell the difference of depth moon shadow moon shadow the velvety talking voice doesn't translate to a beautiful singing voice <laughs> So yes, again, we have a new online course that's starting tomorrow. It's going to be exploring color, and it's going to be fantastic. I mean, Jason's a great teacher regardless, but he knows his stuff when it comes to color, so I'm super excited to be watching him you teach this course. And then this will be one of, one of the reference images that he's going to be using. So it's not too late if you have not signed up. Izzy already put the com the link in the comments. We'll put them again at the end. It's online. And you're going to learn a ton. That's the difference between me and my dad. He just decided to dump his charcoal in the trash. I would have just blown it. He's got equipment. Exactly. So that's why you're back there. <laughs> <laughs> your smudge pencil? It is, uh, yeah, Frank. He's a smooth talker. Mm. He's got a way with the grass. Well, it really smooths out those edges. Just like I can smooth out a room. <laughs> oh, not clear out. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to see people's sketches. There's not a lot of comments, so I know everybody's busy sketching. Oh. These will have a great, and moonscapes always have a really good energy about them. Symbolic for enlightenment. Yes. I actually did know that. The thief life, life. left it behind. Oh. The moon at my window. Stop. No. I'm a moon child. Moon shadow, moon shadow. I have no idea what I am. Do you want me to tell you? 
Okay, all you gotta do is ask. Projection. Projection. No. You can do that. Vocal, not astral. She just Vocal. did it in her theater not show. Not astral. You projected. I had a microphone under my mouth. It's a difference. But when you sang parts that didn't have a microphone, you projected. I'm sure this is a part of the relationship everybody wants to see. <laughs> <laughs> Is it coming in or going out? No, it's Is coming. it coming in or going out? It's going out. Oh. Adios. I think it's See coming in. See you later. Oh. Is that your vine charcoal? Yes. Yes. It's softer. It's or more they, forgiving. The, Is that what you always the say? The harder, yeah. Yeah. It's actually not softer. The softer, the darker it'll go. Oh, okay. So, and definitely sketching on toned paper helps. Yeah, and the, the way we we work and and teach here is uh, in terms of mass, and that's why we use the charcoal and the vine charcoal, and um, you don't ever really see me sharpen my pencil because I'm more more concerned with the overall mass than I'm in. in am like the line right and how those masses come together and those are the concerns of the painter right and really without painters where would we be I mean come on come on come on, come on. where would we be so if you didn't know paintings kind of my thing so hence we work in mass mm. Ooh, look at that time, all that time left. Man, I feel like. Got 17 I'm whole minutes. Like on vacation or something. This is like glorious. Glorious. So, really, it's not that difficult. It's a few big, simple pieces, but it's how well those pieces are done. Right, is just this needs a little bit, a little bit weaker, or this needs to be a little bit stronger. One of the two, just so that they separate a little more, and then we want to separate that out a little bit. So, what would that take? And where's that moon? So, why don't we point this hill? Give us a little pointer there. bit darker on the front hill mm. so that's what I'm doing here is seeing how much darker I need to get here so then that's gonna help me find my ocean and that's gonna help me tell me whether I'm good to go for my foreground all right, and luckily, this guy has a little brother. <laughs> a mini smudge. He is small. 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 S M O. Small.
gets in there. Looks like he gets in the nook and crannies. Because he has to, not because he wants to. They make him. <laughs> He's the only one that'll fit. He hates doing it, but he does it. Let's see, how crooked is that ocean line? Maybe it's a wave. Is the crew going to make it? <laughs> Depends on the captain. <clears throat> finger is a good smudger. Just get a little dirty. 14 minutes. 14 minutes. What happened? <laughs> 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 I don't think so. I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> oh, yes. We've just watched uh, Best in Show and A Mighty Wind. Fred, what's it? Fred Willis? Fred Willard. Fred, Fred Willard, yes. Oh my gosh. His characters are hilarious. Glad he doesn't come to my Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so we almost, almost have a seventh grader in the house. Whoop, whoop. Hello there. Got three more days. Boy. Oh. I said it and I didn't get emotional. Yay. <laughs> All you're doing is saying facts, I was getting emotional. You'd still get emotional even if you you're, talk facts. You're a sad fact, baby. Oh, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> you're uninvited. <laughs> you're not going to my graduation. <laughs> Uninvite the introvert. Hmm. Let's see how that works out for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fun. Mm. Going to have Grandma there. And one of Izzy's teachers, who actually she had for kindergarten and a third grade. Izzy told her way back when I graduate or promote, they call it promotion now. When I have my sixth grade promotion... She says, I want to come I want to come back to your sixth grade promotion. Izzy says, I will invite you. So we sent her a message and invited her, and guess what? She's coming. <laughs> so cute. So. so is that helping separate those? And again, rather than a bunch of different, I want all of this to be even here. Mm -hmm. Right? And then that's going to help the viewer just read it all as just an upright plane and then the suggestion of the shape is going to be all they're going to need to keep them satisfied yeah, i think it reads but what does it read like like a novel a play history so far oh oof oof there's drama. Drama? Nothing but peace out here, woman. It's moonscape. Enlightenment. It's dramatic. What? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What? It's beautiful. You're in the wrong places when the moon's out. That's all I can say. Oh. I still can't get over that picture. That picture's awesome. That was so lucky. Maybe, maybe, maybe look at something to do with it. But it helps to know how to be lucky. Yep. Cause Izzy was quite embarrassed. Because I was on the ground taking this. Oh, <laughs> just a little bit. 
parked on the side and it was dark. Still, That's what I mean about our luck. On the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but look well, at what we got. You didn't have your glasses or you did? What's that? No, did it's you? about perspective. Oh. And, yeah. To get this perspective. Gotcha. We didn't just drive by and see this. Oh, no. This is what I saw when I put my belly on the ground. <laughs> you became one with the uh, earth. Baby, I'm one with everything. Oh, okay. All Peace be with you, myself. <laughs> we are at nine and a half minutes. How are you guys doing? How is your sketching? I can't wait to see them. Oh, that movement just popped all of a sudden. You're so tricky. <laughs> <laughs> Try to make my own luck. Well, I'm lucky. Yeah. What? You are very. I am. It's the 13 babies. And then, funny enough, I was born on the 23rd. <laughs> so we all have three for the last year. Yep. Those in the front definitely make everything feel further back. That's the masses. Bigger up close, smaller further away. Yes, for perspective. Yeah, everybody um, wants to see very complicated and, and do all, but it's really getting the simple right is all it is. Right, we are, really the story about learning to paint and draw better is learning about giving up your preconceived ideas, right? So if once you're on this to develop as an artist, you learn very quickly that if you want your stuff to develop, the only way to do that is if you develop. Mm. So this month we've established, um, instead of on the morning jump start times, Instead of giving student feedback, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be having our oil paints out and we're gonna be mixing together. I'm gonna to have mine on camera here telling you and you're gonna have uh, PDFs and everything showing you exactly what to do so you can follow right along. And that's how we're gonna explore color. So I've decided to set up, there's plenty of lessons and you go on and on about talking and the theory and everything, but you're gonna get better when you start doing it. So we're gonna, with our classes, we're gonna have sketch clubs and mix-alongs, meaning we mix paint. There's gotta be lots and lots of mixing if you wanna learn color. Mm -hmm. You can't just mix color when you want to get the color. You gotta know how to get that color, and where right. it came from. and Get comfortable with the paint. Who, who its mama is. <laughs> What are we doing? Six minutes? Six, Come on, I'm just getting six. started. I'm just getting started. I know. Why do you guys want to be like that? Why do you want to be like that? Hit them. <laughs> it's you, not me. It's you, not me. Is that what you're telling them? That's rough, Mama. No, that's the same Facebook. <laughs> we'll put it on that. All right. So do we got a foreground here? Do we need one more? A little coating for any of those light spots just so that we can get some clear separation this isn't an operating room this is the moon coming up so it's not like there's a lot of clarity in the situation you feel me yes because <laughs> those operating rooms they don't have any mood oof except Crap, I don't trust you and I'm about to lose consciousness. <laughs> well, that's bad. I would hope you would trust him. I don't know, man. <laughs> I didn't say that. 
did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I have to learn to listen to your wisdom a little more. Yes. Yes, you did. <laughs> We're just under five minutes. How's it going, everybody? I hope you're sketching and enjoying it. Definitely times you can get frustrated with your sketching, but you know what? Just keep going because you're going to come out on the other side. You will have either will have definitely Unless learned you're something. buried in the charcoal. No, I'm going to do this real quick because... Ah, because why? It's driving me crazy. It's a little crooked. You need a friend to talk to? Charges an hourly rate? <laughs> I don't know. All right, so how's the size of that moon? Do we like the size of that moon? Do we like the size of that moon? I do, but it's not my sketch. What's mine is yours, baby. Charcoal dump. It's your sketch. Boom, 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 boom. moon rays. A couple clouds in the sky. Mm. Excuse me, why kiss the sky? I'm <laughs> song in my head. All right, and then I do, I do need them to come all the way over here. Yes, I have my needs too. Don't judge me. I was like, you need someone with an hourly rate. I need several people <laughs> with an hourly rate. <laughs> One is just not going to be enough for me. So you're creating sky holes? With I'm your not a sky hole. You're a, oh, yes, that's what I'm doing. I'm keeping it educational. Boom, life is educational. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Going is. Good. Are you watching them sketch? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's cool when you get to watch it on the screen, huh? Yeah, it's different. It comes out. It like all of a sudden you can see the 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 depth and things just come to life. All of a sudden it's like, wait, what? <laughs> I think that's my favorite part about watching you sketch or paint. It's like sometimes I see it, but then there'll just be the little tweaks that you do. Like just uh, with these sky holes and something like that. It just created such, it made it more like 3D. And things all of a sudden just go, whoa. Yeah, sometimes, usually it's just a matter of getting those edges right. Uh huh. But it's kind of hard to believe. Kind of hard to believe less is more. I was having that conversation earlier today, trying to convince some people that less is more. I don't know if they believe it yet, but they will. They will. <laughs> One minute, 30 seconds left. Ah. Uh. It's a cruel world. It's a cruel, cruel world. Doing those riverbanks. What? Keep them on the river. We don't want them on our property. <laughs> we don't want those river rats stopping here. We are under a minute. Time goes by fast when you're sketching because you get lost in it. Smudge. I'm smudge ordinary. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm 
sure Susan's like Ugh. charcoal. I think she likes it a little more. She can't say that. I've seen her pick up a spider. That's Ew. Awesome. Spiders. Pick up a spider? That's so nice. <laughs> that sounded a little forced on your end, is I mean, Sin. I'm not a huge spider fan. <laughs> <laughs> Just never heard nice come out in quite that intonation. Uh, well, if it's me or the spider, I'm sorry. Spider's going down. I don't think these little things are going to take you out. So no. it's really not the, that's not the case. I know. But I, I ah! no, I've, I've yeah, had my encounters off. with a couple big ones and that's enough. Well, it is time, sir. All right. Give me a little more time. How much is that going to cost me? Maybe a froyo. I don't know. Just kidding. Ooh. All right. Those spiders are our friends. Okay, I'm gonna take your word for that, Susan. It's true they eat insects. I know, I know, but I have a lot of friends. I don't know if I need any more <laughs> friends. <laughs> it is true. You do have a lot of friends. Is he the special spider girl? I got bit by a black widow twice. Twice. She's like. Seriously, Spider Girl. Aha. Okay, should we finish this? How are we going to finish it? How are we going to finish it? Reflections on the water. Finish with the white. <laughs> Susan, Susan, what? what? <laughs> yeah, we saw a bite on her ankle. And then uh, it just was not healing. And then, did we... Did we find a spider? No. I don't think we found we ever found a spider. But then when we it wasn't healing well, and then we went to her pediatrician, and he took a uh, look at it, and we did a test or something, and no, he goes, just knew right he knew oh by the sight, that's right. And yeah, he goes, yeah, you got bit twice. <laughs> so we have a lucky girl. Okay, guys, so I guess this is as far as I get tonight. Am I happy with that? I don't know that I'm happy with this is as far as I get. And I may regret this, but I do feel that this... Too small? Yeah, just a little bit and a little bit of an aura. Mm. And also it's good not to get these things totally even. Right, if they always know what's coming, they get sick of you. I like those little reflections on the water you added. Those are good. God put those there, not me. <laughs> All right, what announcements we got, baby girl? Um, we will have, again, new class starts tomorrow. Um, Izzy will put the course link up back up in the comments. Everybody's back in one class this time. Yep, all starts at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. 8, 8, 8 a.m. And it's going to go till 9? Oh, 9. 9 yeah. with a half hour for questions after the lesson. Yes. Boom. It's recorded. I will send up the Zoom link once it's sent to me. Uh, we will have, Jason has Masterworks tomorrow evening. 7 p.m. We have Sketch Club back here on Tuesday at 7 p.m. It's going to be good. Going to be. It is good. Yes. It is good. It, it is, is good. good right now. Boom. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Do. Thanks, sis. Welcome. Roll that up. I got an image on my head. There we go. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, everybody. Thanks for being here tonight. So we're going to start another month tomorrow. We'll get going. After this month of color mixing, mm -hmm. we'll spend the following month then painting the reference images. So we're going to have a really good idea of the color and hopefully do the best color you've ever painted. Then starting in August, we're going to our three-month format. Boom. Yes. So, thank you guys. This one? Bye, guys. Yep.
see you guys.